the latest on July 2nd around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Hurricane Barbara is the main feature on this July the 2nd. A Category 1 and strengthening in the Eastern Pacific could become a very significant hurricane, although out at sea. Invest 94B is dying on the coast of India and the remnants of 4W are doing the same. Day 32 in the Atlantic, no systems are active at this time. In the Eastern Pacific it's day 49, Barbara is located at quite a low latitude as you can see and another system will probably follow in its footsteps. The Western Pacific has the remnants of 4W and Invest 96W not marked on this map close to Hainan Island and no systems are active in the Southern Hemisphere which is now rolled over to the 2019-20 seasons and naming lists. Hurricane Barbara is located in the Eastern Pacific, way out at sea, 85 miles an hour, 983 millibars at the last update. Its current position is 11.7 north, 119 degrees west. The storm is likely to continue in that general direction towards the west-northwest. It's 542 miles from Clarion Island, Mexico. Uh, moving in this direction and intensifying at the moment, expecting a Category 4 peak later this week and then gradual weakening as it moves further out towards the west-northwest, approaching the central Pacific region. Uh, one or two models still hinting it could go on to affect Hawaii. Well, there is some imagery of the storm. Uh, we're supposed to be able to see wind shear graphics on this, but none appear to be available. So we'll just enjoy looking at the imagery of Barbara's developing eye there. You can quite clearly see it as it progresses towards the west-northwest. I assume wind shear is fairly low um, and the water vapor isn't too bad either. Dry air lying to the northwest though. The North Atlantic on the satellite picture looks like this. Pretty quiet still at this time. Um, you know, usually we're looking to see if there's any tropical developings coming from uh, the Caribbean area or maybe some frontal systems, uh, but nothing really happening at this time at all uh, from anything that's currently out there. The Gulf of Mexico looks like this, a very weak little system there in the center of the Gulf and a few thunderstorms blowing up, nothing special. Barbara looks like that on the wide shot in the eastern Pacific and you can see uh, if you saw Alvin it's significantly larger than that storm. Um, and a curious little feature in the central Pacific just south of Hawaii at this point it does appear to have or at least very close to having a center of circulation, a bit of convection and some uh, moderate modest wind speeds of around 20 miles an hour. The western Pacific looks like this, things are all quiet here tiny little area that's uh, blowing up there in the center of that picture and towards the left what's left of 4W the circulation moving into Taiwan right now and 96W further towards the west which is still very much shapeless right now uh, not much going on at, as of yet southern hemisphere looks like this the Australia and South Pacific region very quiet by now um, very little going on the North Indian Ocean what's left of 96 B, 94B, sorry, moving inland over India there, uh, and very little else going on here too. Sea surface temperatures look like this, uh, still remaining pretty warm, 30 degrees plus along some areas of the Mexican coast. Uh, out at sea, uh, the lower the latitude the storm is, obviously that'll be better for Barbara. Um, looking at the Atlantic there, very warm sea surface temperatures around Cuba and the Bahamas, as has been the case for a while, still taking its time to warm up in the main development region. The uh, North Indian Ocean looking pretty warm too, 28 degrees, 30, 30 degrees along the Indian coast. The South China Sea, a real hot spot, 30 degrees, possibly up to 32 near 96W. And in the Philippine Sea, 30 degrees plus there as well, although there's no systems to watch in that particular area. So looking at a close-up here of the remnants of 4W, this is how it's looking right now. You can quite clearly see the center of the system still moving on with a defined center, just about to make landfall in Taiwan along the eastern coast. Um, some thunderstorms blowing up from it, winds are going to be pretty light. Uh, obviously we could see some flash flooding issues from those uh, thunderstorms, but nothing major. 
Hurricane Barbara looks like this. You can see how it's really gathering pace and has been for quite a while. What has been a feature of this storm really is the cloud tops, which have always been impressive. And you just about saw that eye starting to come out a little bit more. I think we'll see more of that uh, overnight tonight into tomorrow local time. We'll probably see a decent eye. So this July 2nd, we're up to 30 storms on the list. Barry is the next name in the Atlantic. Cosme is next up in the Eastern Pacific. We'll probably get it soon. Alvin and Barbara both becoming hurricanes. The next name in the Central Pacific is Akoni. In the West Pack, it's Mun, the next name on the list there, which really 4W should have been. And in the North Indian Ocean, Hika is next on the list. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 if you're not there already, subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can also find our Facebook and Twitter outlets as well, search Force 13 all in text. And the new Southwest Indian Ocean names are there now as well, the first name on that list this season is Ambali. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.